The Air Gun Advisor is brought to you today by High Pressure Pneumatics, Air Guns of Arizona, and Baker Air Guns. You'll find links to these and more in the description below. Let's have some fun at 25 yards just so you get a little taste of the accuracy that this Gauntlet 30 has. Got some fun targets out there. Let's go ahead and blow those up. Boom! Dang on. Destroying those pieces of chalk. Well, since this is a hunting gun, we gotta hunt some animals. What we got out there? It looks like an elk, I'm thinking. 25 yards. It's a young one, you can tell by how small it is. Let's see what we got. Let's go for a long shot right there. Boom! Got the elk. This is a hunting gun like no other, especially for the price point. 25 yards, easy targets down there, especially once they got my holdover taken care of. Welcome back to the channel. I am Chad Kentner, your air gun advisor. If this happens to be your first time here, or if you happen to be a non-subscriber, please take a second, hit that subscribe button, ring the bell, believe it or not, that is one of the metrics that companies use if they're gonna think about sending us any kind of product to review for you in the future. Make sure you hit that subscribe button, give me a thumbs up, and leave some comments down below, because I'd love to know what you guys wanna know. Today, well, what are we looking at today? Today, we are looking at an Umarex Gauntlet. Now, this isn't the original Gauntlet. This is the Umarex Gauntlet 30. So this is the 30 caliber Gauntlet. And this thing is shooting not only, okay, shooting 30 caliber pellets, which are huge if you've never seen a 30 caliber pellet before. It is shooting over 100 foot pounds of energy, pushing these things, and this is the 44 grain, I believe, over 1,000 feet per second. So this thing is moving and grooving, and uh, not only that, it's accurate. And we'll get some accuracy data here in just a little bit. But let's run over the features that this particular air gun has. First and foremost, you've got the adjustable cheek piece down here, which is a nice addition that Umarex placed on their gauntlet line. We have right here for the scope mount, we have both a Picatinny and a dovetail rail that are milled into the same piece of aluminum. So whether you like dovetail, or you like Picatinny rail, whichever one you have, you're golden, you're good to go. Shrouded barrel, we have at the very end of this barrel, one half by 20 threads, so if you want to quiet it down any, and it is a little loud, so you may want to do that. Of course, we have a air cylinder up here that holds 4,500 PSI. This is an aluminum air cylinder, similar to what you might be used to if you've used Ninja air gun tanks, or maybe you shot paintball a long time ago. Very similar to that, but this one's actually very big because it holds 4,500 PSI. Now, something else I like on the bottom side here, you have an M-lock rail. So if you want to add any of your M-lock flashlights or maybe even like a little rail for a bipod, you can do that too. And nice gauge on the side here. Before I put this back down, you see the gauge right there? Yeah, take a look. Yep, nice, easy to read. As a matter of fact, that is a Ninja gauge, so you know that's quality. Over on this side here, the fill port, look at that. You're not gonna need any kind of special fill equipment other than your quick disconnect. It goes right here in this side. Umarex, of course, continuing to listen. Thank you, making this filling process easy. And then let's go take a look at the bolt system here, because I think that's pretty unique. On this bolt system, we have, you probably can see it right here, there's two grooves right there. So the first one is when you have it locked, loaded, ready to go all the way back. I'm gonna go ahead and do that, put it back, put it down, and you can see it locks down. That's because the hammer spring in this, in order to get 100 foot-pounds of energy, you gotta really push the hammer, and that hammer spring is pretty strong. So that allows you to lock, the, um, lock it in when you are inserting your magazine, and then once your magazine is inserted and ready to go, you can go ahead and unleash and push forward and then you are ready to go. Now I'm gonna go ahead and take a second to decock it by holding back the bolt, squeezing the trigger, and then slowly letting it go. That is one way that you can disarm an air gun, uh, but always make sure you're still pointing that in a safe direction, especially if you happen to have a magazine in here. 
The trigger is a metal trigger with a metal guard down here. It's a little springy, but you know what? I had no problem shooting some really tight groups at 100 yards uh, for an air gun of this price point at this caliber. I was really, really pleased with how that worked. And if you really want to get crazy and adjust your air gun, I'm going to try to turn this without banging anything. See right here? Well, that's how you can adjust your hammer spring as well in the back. So still an adjustable air gun and still able to fine tune it, if you would, for whatever projectile you might like. How many shots was I getting? Well, I was getting about 21 shots, again, pushing just over a thousand feet per second. Standard deviation of five. Yeah, standard deviation of five. That helps out with the accuracy, especially when you're going long distance. And really, 100 foot-pounds of energy in this thing, this thing is more than capable of doing some small game hunting, maybe even some coyote hunting as well. Um, very, very pleased and surprised at the quality that Umarex is stepping up to with the Gauntlet 30. So great job there. Let's go ahead and take this out. Well, before we do that, you're probably wondering what scope do I have on here? Yes, I'm using a Hawk Optics scope. This is the Air Max 30. Great little optic for this. Obviously, you got protective covers over the turrets here. We can unscrew those for you and take a look. There you go. MRAD reticle, one click or one tenth MRAD. So you kind of get an idea of what we got there. But this isn't a scope review today. This is an air gun review. So I just wanted to throw that out there. Let's go ahead and take this Gauntlet 30 out to the range and see what it can do at a lot of different distances. All right, air gunners, I'm down here. I got the 50 yard range set up down there. A little different target out here shooting some birds. Um, and this is really just to give you a taste of the accuracy that the Gauntlet 30 has at 50 yards. Now, if you want to see some more, I'm gonna tell you where to find that here at the end of the video because I actually stretched this all the way out and group it to 75 yards. And I'm gonna leave a link down below for you to go check out that video. But hey, hang tight. Let's go see what we can do at 50 yards first. All right, Gauntlet 30, 44 grain pellets. I uh, got a seven shot magazine up here, running the Hawk Air Max 30 scope at 16 power. So not a real powerful scope, but again, a great representation of a hunting scope. And that's what I wanted to do because most of you will be looking at the Gauntlet 30 for probably a hunting style air gun. So. Let's go ahead and hit that, 75 yards. You know what? Let's air up first. Always important to get sure you got your air tank filled up. All right, 75 yards, oh no, no, 50 yards. Remember 75 yards is gonna be on that other video? See what I did there? All right, here we go, 50 yards. See what we got. Now I'm not doing any holdover. I'm gonna aim straight for the bird and that target right there. Let's see what we can do. They ran a little high, but I'd say that's probably a dead bird. Let's try again. Oh yeah, two for two on that bird. Oh, same hole out of the Gauntlet 30. Love that. Let's do it again. Oh, right there. Right where I was aiming. What is that, four? Let's try five. Boom. Five shot group, 50 yards out of the Gauntlet 30. This thing is for real. Let's give you just one taste, one taste of 75 yards out there. Yeah, Whew. we've got the Firebird 65 bio target sitting on a ram. And you notice we have to use a little hold over here. No big deal. One shot. <laughs> That's 75 yards, my friends.
Well, Air Gunners, what did you think? I was pretty impressed. Hopefully you were impressed back home. And hey, I'm gonna leave some links down below. So if you wanna check out Umarex or any other air guns that you might be interested, in, take a look in the description. Until next time, make sure that trigger pull stays smooth, those pellets fly straight, and we'll see you again next time on the Air Gun Advisor.